Okay, flat rate mechanic here. Today we're gonna to be diagnosing a check engine light and a battery light on this 2006 Honda Civic Hybrid. Uh, we got a couple stored codes here. We got a P1570 and a P087F, which are both pertaining to the high voltage battery pack for this hybrid. So basically we're gonna go in. I have the factory Honda scan tool hooked up to this right now so we're gonna go ahead and um, connect to this vehicle we're gonna pull codes and we're gonna look at the high voltage battery cells and see if we have a bad cell in one of, in this battery pack and if we do um, we're going to have to replace it I'm gonna show you where the high voltage battery pack is how to turn it on and off I'm also did a little research on this so I'll give you some diagnostic tips that I found on Identifix and there is also an updated warranty information I will give you towards the end of this video. Um, they have extended the warranty on the high voltage batteries because they're having a lot of problems with them so um, all that and more. I will pause this for one second and get right back with this video. All right, so I'm all into the scan tool here. We're gonna go ahead and access the power, the electronic powertrain. And we're gonna go in here and see if we can, um, we're gonna go ahead and go to the data list. We're gonna see if we can look at the voltages in this battery pack and make sure all the cells are functioning properly. Um, this is a pretty easy check to do if you have a scan tool that can read um, engine data is all. So, okay, here we go. Down here, the IMA battery, module 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 11. And we're just looking at these voltages. They're all about 15 volts, so that's actually not looking that bad. Uh, that's all normal at the moment, in my opinion. Uh, probably what I'm going to do next is do a starting and charging system test because on the test drive, I also had a battery light on on the dash. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a starting and charging test, uh, make sure the alternator's charging, uh, make sure the um, system battery, the normal 12 volt battery like most cars have is uh, test good and is functioning properly. And if all that tests good, I'm probably gonna come back and revisit um, this high voltage battery and take a little deeper dive into this and see if I can see any problems with that but um let's take a look at uh, some of this some of this information that I pulled um, like I said an extended warrant they're extending the warranty on this um, Identifix says proper test this code you'll need to connect the scan tool to look at the HV battery blocks and look for voltage differences Hi Honda has high failure rate on the HV battery and it has extended its warranty. So, um, and here is the extended warranty information. It looks like, um... Okay, so here's the warranty information. It looks like they've extended it 11 years, 170,000 miles. Uh, 11 years, 162,000 miles. So a pretty good coverage there as far as this high voltage battery goes. But I'm suspecting this vehicle is not going to need that. I think we have a uh, charging problem, or I guess where this is a hybrid. I said earlier in the video, alternator. This car does not have an alternator. It just has a DC to DC converter that charges the battery off of um, the state of the basically the um, charger in the um, transmission. And our have voltage blocks on this high voltage uh, battery look fine. Well, we have this battery light on. I'm definitely suspecting uh, we got a charging problem. We're going to go underneath the hood here in a minute and uh, test that. But I want to show a few pictures of where the battery is located and also where the DC to DC converter is located. And it's going to be in the trunk. Um, you're going to have your switch and access panel to the right. You have to remove the bolt and you can shut it off to uh, service this module. As you can see, there's an access panel on the back of the rear seat in the trunk that is going to be removed to get to the high voltage battery and the DC converter. <coughs> um, it's fairly easy to access. 
And here's a picture of the actual battery cell itself. Oh yeah, so we're gonna go under the hood here and see um, see if we're getting any voltage to this accessory battery that we call in the hybrids. And it's just a smaller battery here. And as you can see on our battery tester, we're only at 11.6 volts, which just means this battery is discharging right now. It's not charging, so I'm suspecting we have a DC to DC converter issue, which like I said is in the trunk on this vehicle so I'm gonna go ahead and um, open it up and dismail that and make sure all our connections are tight and clean and if all that checks out pretty good this car is going to need a DC to DC converter I was also um, when I was looking at the service information I was also able to find that uh, they're having issues with the service bulletin on the wires getting pinched in the rear trunk and there's a hundred amp fuse that blows when this happens so we're gonna check that as well once we get this trunk taken apart but I'm suspecting our uh, in this case and probably not every case this uh, high voltage battery pack is gonna be okay and we're gonna go after the DC converter Okay, so I want to take a second look at this voltage, and it's continuing to drop, so um, I've determined that this thing definitely needs a DC to DC converter in order to get this auxiliary battery charging again, and we're also going to put a new battery in this. Um, I'll also leave some other diagnostic information and some tips and tricks on how to diagnose these uh, HV or high voltage batteries on these hybrid Honda Civics. Uh, they seem to be like they're starting to be pretty big issues um, as these vehicles get of age, typically 180 to 200,000 miles. But appreciate you guys watching this video. So be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Hope this was helpful. Till next time, flat rate mechanic.